Berkowitz here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a build-up out of um, a simple sound using these two devices. Here we go, reverb and pitch drop. And uh, we're going to uh, record them into a separate track, uh, the result into a separate track, reverse it, bring it back into the track we want to create the reverb, and we'll get a nice, uh, or the, uh, the build-up, and we'll get a nice build up with an accent. So let's listen to the clip that we're going to use, which is right here. Fine. Now, I just want to use for right now the accent at the very beginning, which sounds like this. Turn off loop for a minute. All right, now when we turn loop back on, we get this. Okay, great. Let's come back over here. Stop the clip for a second. We're gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at our reverb and our pitch drop. So reverb is pretty much, uh, comes just like this. There's uh, one thing that I'm gonna do to help our, 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 our effect here. We're going to turn off cut and we're going to turn on freeze. That way the sound will keep building up over and over and over and over again. Uh, and when I get enough built up sound, I'm actually going to lower the meters just a little bit on this. When I get enough built up sound, I'm going to use pitch drop, which is set to sync right now, which sets, which syncs the drop to the, uh, to the master transport as opposed to time, which just gives you a duration in, in milliseconds or seconds. So right now we're at sync, and it's going to drop over the course of four bars as soon as I hit this button. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in over here. Audio is going to come in from audio three. That's this. Obviously, it's whatever you want. And we're going to record just this one clip over and over again with these two effects. So here we go. Okay, got those. I'm going to turn freeze off because you can see right here it's still, the reverb is still working. <clears throat> turn this clip off. Let's listen to what we have over here. And it should be around measure seven or so that we've got our the start of our drop. Yep, that's about right. We can tighten this up to just four bars, which will give us a nice, uh, clean four bar build. Obviously you can set it to whatever you want. Let's crop that. I'm just doing this roughly. Now we come over here to reverse. We're going to reverse the clip and we're going to put it in front of this clip, which had our full, uh, sound. Let's turn that off. Now what's going to happen is after four bars of this, we will then be able to go immediately to the next clip using a follow action. So here we go. We'll set this for next. We'll set the follow action for four. Very nice. We're going to give it just a little bit of uh, envelope. We'll change the volume of the envelope just a little bit at the beginning to give us a nice rise in, in volume. I don't actually want the volume to be all the way at 100% at the end because I want the next clip over here to still have the accent. And I want a strong accent right on the downbeat. So let's clean this up a little bit and let's hear what we've got. Let's just make sure everything's okay.
not bad. A little rough at the, a little rough at the end, and I actually want to just do a little bit like this so we get the build up a little bit quicker. <clears throat> One more time, and let's bring our level up since this is the only thing in, going on. All right, so there you go, and you can see if I were being a little bit more careful today, I'd I'd get rid of that little that little glitch in between the two sounds. Uh, but I hope you enjoy this, and um, there you have it: reverb and pitch drop for a build up. Thanks. Bye.